We all have our heyday, our moment in the sun, our 15 minutes of fame. We have it, and so do felines. As cats age and slowly distance themselves from those early years and the prime of life and head off into the sunset of those golden years, physical activity starts to take more of a back seat and is slowly replaced by additional nap time and a desire for the comfortable life, surrounded by peace and quiet. In this material, I'll talk about, generally speaking, when cats begin to wind down the playtime side of life and begin to ease into a new routine of what amounts to the slumber life. I'll also talk about how you can help your pet with this transition and why your priorities as an owner will somewhat shift as your cat moves out of those days of deep curiosity and seemingly endless days of energy. What happens when the playtime stops? I've got you covered. Stay tuned. With respect to the life stages of a feline, once a cat reaches 7 to 10 years of age, generally any time in this age bracket, a subtle shift will begin to occur. Slowly but surely, your cat's drive to stalk, hunt, and have play sessions will begin to decrease. Overall, physical activity, while still present, won't be as vigorous compared to the previous years. In some cases, this transition in the mature adulthood stage of life can feel more like the slow drip from a water faucet. It won't happen overnight, but if you're keen to your cat's normal behavior, you'll start to notice a change and a shift. Cuddle time will likely become even more important, and just hanging out will become the new favorite game of the day. And while this is certainly not to suggest that playtime will cease entirely, it probably won't take center stage the way it once did. In fact, depending on your cat's personality, there's a chance that your pet could actually become more attentive to you and start to obey you more. This could be due to the fact that your cat's drive to play has decreased, but that drive to also be a contrarian just isn't quite as intense. I mean, even that rough and tumble feral cat in the neighborhood will eventually mellow out if they manage to reach this stage of life. So, between the ages of 7 and 10, that's generally, generally you know, what you're looking at. That's the typical time when a cat's desire to play starts to slow down at least a bit. But what can you do? Will your role change as a loving owner? As your cat begins to seek out the great comforts of life, it's important to make sure that your pet continues to eat nutritious meals and still maintains a respectable level of activity. It's not uncommon for cats at this stage of life to really pack on the pounds due to the fact that a highly driven playtime is no longer the preferred menu to burn off those calories. Those snack treats, they can carry more weight, both literally and figuratively. Another way that you can help your cat through this transition is to encourage the little things. It's important to make the distinction between a decrease in playtime and a total decrease in activity. And while it's not uncommon for cats between the ages of 7 to 10 to develop a small case of the lazies, let's call it, it's also important for you as an owner to keep your cat moving. If your pet is in good health, keep them moving. There is a big difference between a lack of desire and the lack of ability. If your cat is still able, make sure to engage in a play session with them on a routine basis, a daily basis, if at all possible. Keeping that body in motion between the ages of 7 and 10 will only serve to help your cat during those senior years, especially as it relates to joint pain and arthritis. The longer your pet is able to stay active, even in small levels on a small scale level, the better off they will be in the long term. As of the time of this video, I'm the proud owner of three cats, and they are knocking on the door of their eighth birthday. Hard to imagine. <laughs> I can tell you firsthand that I've started to notice changes in their overall behavior as it relates to playtime and general activity. They still love to run around from time to time and chase each other around the house, but only in short bursts. If I take a hands-off approach and just leave them to live, they'll each just settle in. They're own little nesting spots in the home and just relax and take it easy. Their idea of playtime these days is really all about uh, getting a good petting session and having positive interactions. That, that typically overrides the actual play in the playtime. They're still more than capable of playing, but they just don't seem to care as much <laughs> as they used to. Not as curious, and they've certainly mellowed out even compared to, say, 24 months ago. Mental enrichment is what they are starting to seek far more than the physical. 
having said all of that, these are just numbers. It's all just a numbers game. Your cat could still be bouncing off the walls at the age of 10 because nothing, nothing is written in stone. I know from previous videos concerning similar topics, many of you have chimed in in the comments section and shared stories about having active senior cats and how even older cats, although not quite senior status, still have a great desire to play and the whole mellowing out business seems like something in the far off future, out of reach for now. My advice to you and all of you for that matter is to continue to monitor your cat's health and overall behavior and continue to cater to what they want to do in the here and now. If nothing has changed, then allow your cat to enjoy all the playtime they can possibly have. Hey, all of this is, well, it's just like people. We've all seen 40-year-olds who live like 80, and some folks in their 80s playing golf on a routine basis like it's no big deal. In fact, as a cat owner, there could be a stark contrast within your very own home. Do you have an 8-year-old cat who would rather chill and relax while your other 8-year-old feline is still the life of the party? Just know that cats will slow down on them. But as they get older in terms of playtime, and it will probably happen during that mature adult phase of life, but that's merely an expectation and certainly not a requirement by any standard. To the viewers of Senior Cat Wellness, what are your thoughts on this topic? Is your cat still as playful as ever as they approach those senior years, or has your cat slowed down? The fun and games during the stage of life that I have spoken about today, that 7 to 10 period. Your comments, your stories, I'd certainly love to hear from you, as always. If you enjoyed this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. We are growing, friends. <laughs> we are growing. Until next time, thank you so very much for watching. And as always, I will talk to you later.